Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you people saw our last video and I hope you would have liked it. So today we thought that when we are doing some DIYs or some paintings, we do need a lot of colors, especially small kids and toddlers. They put on the paint on their hands and then they sometimes put the hands in their mouth. So I thought that we should try to make some intoxic paint that we can make easily at home and it can be so cheap and low budget so let's start so there are so many methods of making the paints but i have chosen the one that is really really simple and easy there was one method in which you needed two three ingredients that you had to cook it so i thought that it might be a little time and effort taking so why not to make something that is easy to make and kids can help you while you make it so there are few things that we need i tried to make it as simple as possible so we need i am going to show two methods one is you can make the paint with the flower this is a simple flower or you can also use corn starch or corn flour you can say you can take this too so we are going to make the paint with both of these and we need some food color it can be in any form powder liquid gel any form or if you don't have food color you can use acrylic paints simple ones you might have some in your home so you have to mix a little quantity of paint or food color in the um, in the liquid that we are going to make and it will be enough and even if you want your kids they can make, uh, use it as a finger paint as well so let's get started we are going to need the corn flour first i have taken this small spoon and a bowl and some water and the food paste okay so we are going to take a little corn starch and corn flour i am going to take three these small spoons it depends on how much you want to make i want to make it in the small one so i am taking the reason Otherwise, if you want to make large quantities, for example, you can take half a cup of flour, half a cup of salt, and half a cup of water, and you can just mix them and then put the color however you want. You want it to be light or dark? It all depends on you. So I'm going to make a dark stick. Okay, we will make that. Here I'm going to put a little salt. Put salt first. So we have put salt and flour, and now we are going to add a little water, and so I'm going to put it mix. It has to be a little thick consistency. Listen to me. So we are going to mix it so that there is no more lumping. Yeah, I can. You have to mix the salt and the flour very well. Make it like a little thick paste. Yeah, chum. Yes, it's done. Okay. Let's do the time. Yes. And let's show show Aka here. Okay, it's okay. So Aka, it's done. See? Good. <laughs> okay, so first we will put some food color. This one is the one in the powder form. I can't chew. You have to. Okay. I'm gonna put some in one of them. I want one color to be black, and this is some acrylic paint. So what we are going to do is, we are going to put black color and mix it up. Yes. I wanted to show you that you can use food color. You can use what even 
You can even use water color. I want to color. do it too. So, it's done right here. No, I'm not too shy. Take that, start one. It's already done. You cannot do one. Yeah, I have to start one. Okay, we will use a blue acrylic paint and we will make another blue color. So I wanted to show you that you can make a paint with black, with white, water colors, with food colors, with acrylic colors. It doesn't matter. Very lovely. Very lovely. Very lovely. Very lovely. Very lovely. So mix, mix, mix. This is the most easiest way of making colors. And even you can give this to your toddler or small kids and even if they touch their hands with their, with their mouth, it's okay. You can wash them easily. They are not touch. They cannot be used. It's done. Yes. So now we are going yeah. to try our paints. Yeah. I do this. Another way that I have told you that we can make it with the flowers. So I am going to take only two small spoons of flour and a little bit salt, like a pinch or so. And I am going to put some water. Like this, and I am going to mix it. But I personally like one. I personally, personally, I like that the corn flour result is way better than the flour because after drying, the flour it became a little strange texture. So I thought that at least I should try. I didn't like it though. I like the corn flower one. My yes, very nice. Yes. So that is how you put some flower, and I'm going to put some food color, and I'm going to mix. So when you mix it, this is the orange one. This is the orange color with the flower i will put it down and so i will show you how to paint with it again so so i will use her finger for the flower painting she is going to make what you are going to make which alphabet are you going to write c, c. so so Ira is going to make a c with this color c with her finger okay she want to use her finger because it's Quite safe. Make a C. Is it a C? Yes. Make a beautiful figure. Yes. So this is the flower color. No, I need and this is the cornstarch color. No, I need that too. You can make the paint and you can store them in jar like these because these are easily available and your paint will not get dry so you can make in big quantity like this jar and yet then you can make it again it's so simple that you can make it again and again i hope you like it now we are going to try are you excited okay basically what you said so what you are going to make you are going to write and say yeah. See, it's so simple, so low budget. You can easily make it, even making it at home. It's so much fun for kids. And most of the kids, most of the kids, no, the they like to use color and they like to paint. So it's a good way of yeah, making your kids. Time. Yes, it's a way of making your kids busy at home because when you're hearing that, maybe the, another wave of COVID is coming. And I want you to try to hold my kids here. Yes. Okay, okay, then we will see you next time. Bye.